The municipal elections are just around the corner and every candidate is trying to get noticed. The We Power Foundation decided to give the many female candidates a spotlight by organizing a mass dance event where all the candidates from around the country will collaborate in one big circle of trust. <laughs> Ifat Samir, the CEO of the We Power Foundation, who organized the event, knows how hard she has struggled to reach the point that women candidates and women's votes are now part of the election conversation. I would say it's going to be a journey, but it's a dot on the journey that's going to say it's not going to be the same, because women said this is our right to be there around the table, you know, uh, making decisions. And I think this is the day that women here, as you saw, are going to say our vote, our Ticket is gold, and you have to treat us like this. It's not going. It's not yours anymore, without question. So if you vote, you're going to put women in the list, we're going to vote for you. If not, we're not. The highest-ranking woman in Israeli politics today, Justice Minister and Chief Negotiator with the Palestinians, M.K. Tsipi Livni, took time off from her busy schedule to come talk to first-time women candidates participating. It took me some time and took some time to others to understand that uh, women can make decisions uh, on uh, Israel security and especially in Israel when we are facing different challenges and different threats and security for many years was connected basically to Israeli generals and uh, army veterans when a woman is coming saying okay I have something to say here and uh, it's not talking about Israel's security, it's not only from uh, the military point of view, but security means much more than military aspects. Uh, so uh, it took some time and hopefully people now understand it. But uh, yet we live in a world of images and perceptions and uh, sometimes we need to fight. And I'm here today to say to young women, do it. <laughs> M.K. Tamar Zandberg, a former Tel Aviv city council member and one of the leaders of the social protests of the summer of 2011, claims it should be more important to society to have equal representation for women. Um, it's very important for women to be represented, but I think it's more important for society that women will be represented because that means the decisions that are going to be made uh, will be actually better decisions. Because uh, if all decisions that are being made, you know, whether it's the government, the Knesset, or the local, the municipal authority, if they're only taken by half the population and half that are also of a certain age, of a certain uh, sexual uh, orientation, etc., it means the decisions are going to be very narrow and represent very small part of the society, and that, that hurts all of us. <laughs> Mahareta Baruch Ron is one of the many Ethiopian women around the country running for public office for the first time. I don't think the problem is with the Ethiopian society. I think the problem is with the Israeli society. I think uh, for women it's, it's not easy to be uh, in places that uh, decisions are made. It's tough being a woman, it's tough being an Ethiopian woman, black woman, and it's tough being a mother for three young kids, but that's why it's uh, crucial for me to be part of the uh, decision-making process. One of the big things that happening in the elections is that there's a guy who candidate to be a, a mayor of Kiryat Malachi. This is the first time that an Ethiopian candidate to be a mayor. So uh, things are happening and people are uh, uh, more uh, uh, optimistic, they dare and uh, there are many parties that uh, Ethiopian women are part of. We came from a very different culture, so it took time, a lot of time, 30 years, 30 and some years, before we, we understood that we have to be on the board, we have to, uh, to play, we have to be part of the decision making in, in order to make our life better. But it's, it's really, uh, it's now the time that Things are happening and I'm very optimistic about the future.
Israel is breaking records in these municipal elections in the number of women candidates. 42 women are running for mayor and hundreds more for various council positions up for election. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the Cinematheque in Tel Aviv.